There are people dying, won't someone lend a hand? Alright, well, welcome one and all to Iconicide Presents Puke Island Part 7. This is the seventh time that I've had to do this thing. Because uh, I want to give you a little bit of a history lesson for you. People out there, they're saying like, oh, fuck this, fuck the police or whatever. Well, you don't have to fuck the police. Because to quote a good friend of mine from a band called School of Violence, people adopt the role of police officer themselves by internalizing limitations. Now, there was an event that started 10 years ago called Punk Island. It was on Governor's Island. It was, it was organized by an ex-squatter by the name of Slug. Slug had an idea, a brainchild if you will. An all-day festival on Governor's Island. 13 stages, over a hundred bands, unfettered free expression. Nobody walking around monitoring what people said or did. It was the underground in action. It was people's voices, unedited, unhindered. It was fucking amazing. It was chaos. It was anarchy in action. And, uh... I remember there were three conflicting maps that were printed up for that day. I spent the entire day wandering around, getting lost and hearing incredible fucking music. Now, he organized the first three, and actually my band Iconicide played the first three punk islands. But on the fourth year, he decided it got a little bit too large for him to handle by himself. And he figured, oh, well, uh, there's this outfit, ABC No Rio. They're underground, right? They started out as a squat, right? They're into free expression and the true force, true face of the underground, right? So uh, I'll hand it over to ABC No Rio, and they'll handle Punk Island the right way, right? Well, fast forward a bit, and... In order to play ABC No Rio or any of their events, including Punk Island, you have to submit your lyrics in advance. You have to submit your links in advance. And they gotta comb it over with whatever ideological tenets that they apply it to. And if you're not part of the right cult, or you're not part of the right way of thinking, or if you land a little too far to the left, or a little too far to the right, or whatever it is of the urinal, that they call home, you're banned from playing, all right? And Punk Island, what used to be, as said, anarchism in action, is now another rank and file line of bullshit. All right, so I figured, fuck it. Seven years ago, I started doing this. I figured, put together an event that has no ideological qualities about it. None of the bands playing today were approached and say and asked, who do you hang with? Who are your people? What are your songs about? What do you promote? Are we sure that this is a safe space? Fuck safe spaces. Safe spaces are for toddlers. Safe spaces are where you got the little ball pit. You got kids learning to ride bikes with helmets and shit. We're adults, all right? PC stands for pure crap. That's when you get other people who you appoint to do your critical thinking for you. So that you don't even have to worry about what to get offended about or not. You got committees of people deciding what's offensive. So that by the time things filter the way down through all the ranks, by the get to you, it's watered down nonsense. Okay, fine. Today, you're probably going to see some shit that offends you. Well, be 
glad. Be glad that you live in a city or a country where you have the freedom to piss outside of the box. Because soon enough, soon enough, things will be safe for you. They'll be safe for all the fucking mental infants who you appointed your leaders. And pretty soon there won't be any fucking truth left. Just go through your little committees. You know, have your safe little fun. And don't even bother thinking about yourself because there's nothing worth thinking about anyway. So, if anyone wants to know, you know, this is technically a political rally with music. That's about as political as it gets. Think for yourself. Fuck the committees. Fuck your crew. All right? All of that group of people who you feel safe because you all think alike and you dress alike. I heard about that. I think a war was fought over that, but that's beside the point. You know. By the way, that's brown shirts, not black shirts. The black shirts were the fascists. The brown shirts were the Nazis. But anyway, nobody remembers that. So that's lost on deaf ears. So, today we were supposed to have had a special mission, but I guess this mission wasn't special enough for them. Yay. We're gonna have sexual suicide invading species. Oldies but goodies still standing strong, the accelerators, and we're gonna top it off at around five o'clock with a third kind. So it's gonna be a mixed bag. You're not gonna see people like, oh, I, I see why they put this band with that band. They're the same type of people. Well, guess what? Then you just ended up segregating yourself, motherfucker. You know, that's what I think about your safe space. You have a right not to be safe. You have a right to make your own bad decisions. And I'm sure that this gentleman right here your life is the way it is right now because you made your own decisions, right? Always do it, motherfucker. Exactly. Nobody told you what's safe and what's not. I always decide. Exactly. So you have, your right, you have the right to be as fucked up as this motherfucker right here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> But we're gonna start off pretty soon with the first band of the day, the first start, the first existing yeah. band of the day. This guy's getting a little bit, yeah, impatient. Come on, Wendy's still got a set up. But uh, you want to take the mic and start spewing, start spewing some shit? I'll give you the mic. I'll give you the mic. Just whatever's on the top of your head, man. Free expression, motherfucker. You want to make an asshole of yourself? I'll give you a running start. You won't make an asshole of himself. Let him do it. Sure, man. Yeah, go right ahead, man. You're good. Nothing matters or the sun's going to explode and kill everything. No, no, oh, nothing on. we could ever do will make Sunday. any impact. It's Sunday. <laughs> it's Sunday. Come on, rock God. There's no better example of punk being dead than this show. I'm the youngest person here and I'm almost 40. We're all fucked. It's just having fun, man. Why not rock on, brother? Yeah, man. That's what we're gonna do. I don't know why anyone would give me a microphone. Do we talk about why anyone would want to see a band in the afternoon? I woke up an hour ago. <laughs> Every time we play a show, they regret giving me the microphone. Wow, well, 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 sometimes you don't have I like you having it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. for me what's your shoe size it's uh really like 11 and a half but i wear 12 because my feet are kind of wide you're bragging 
Mike, like, yeah, what's going on? Oh, it's going to be a joke, but you were just going to start saying yeah, oh, eventually. Can you act like Gigi Allen today? I, didn't know it. I do sometimes. We're gonna go there. <laughs> it's just during the day, man. It's hard to like cut myself during the daytime. Can you, can you throw shit at us? I, you know, it's funny you say that because like I just drank four shots of rum and two five-hour energies, and I kind of want to shit myself. But like, I'm not going to the bathroom in this park. I'm just trying to hang out with this kid. You better fucking hang out. I just want to hang out with you all day. You better fucking hang out. Yeah, yeah, of course. Good. Good. Black kids with skateboards are the future. Black kids with skateboards are the future of punk rock. That's all we got left. <laughs> This movie out Fox is pretty good. I saw that. Maybe I should play it I went and saw the dwarves last night and I fucking can't hear. Yeah, exactly. I thought they were deaf. I've known the dwarves from San Francisco. I know yeah. Bruce and everybody. Yeah. Is he still in the band? He is actually. Is it's just him and Black. He's older than me. Yeah, well that's exactly. Like they were play they played an album that came out twenty years ago. So I'm saying. There was no one at the show under a thirty-five. Hi, we're sexual suicide. Can somebody raise my volume on this? Hi, we're sexual suicide. And before we start, I want to dedicate the set to my friend Paul, who did guillotine with me in the early I 80s. I saw you. I touched your and fucking armpit. And played an Antichrist Newsboys. Two weeks ago, he tried to commit suicide. He's in a hospital in Florida, and his family isn't doing anything to help him. He's instrumental in us getting the name Sexual Suicide, which is kind of ironic now. But we're dedicating the set to him. And later on, we're going to do um, a cover of I Hate Holidays, which we haven't practiced in like 20 years. but. Uh, we're gonna do it anyway, cause he wrote the song. And this one's for Paul. Yo, fuck suicide. This shit sucks, man. Too many people dead. Yo, it is too fucking hot to play music. You're playing music? Yeah, good call. <laughs> That's a good point. It is too hot to run around in circles. Run around in a square! Square dance! In a square! Yo, I can box step. Oh, I think I fucked it up already. This is the box step. I don't know that one. The song's called I Can't Do It.
This guy distracted me. I blame him. Next song is the first song I learned, and I always fuck it up, so. Yay! I won't this time. Not this time. You never forget your first. Shanna Mayo, she had a fucking Bihawk, and she spray painted it silver to go to prom with me because I wore a silver tuxedo. That's true. Shanna Mayo. This next song goes out to Brian Lavov who used to play with us and he co-wrote the song with me. It's called I Must Destroy.
next song goes out to Justin Demick. He um, actually sort of partially wrote this song when he played with us years ago. And he was he used to come to the shows with like a million and one beers and hand it out to the, everybody there. So this song is called My Drunk Rage. <laughs> songs I thought I wouldn't have paced myself. What are we doing next then? Yo, 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 yo. Let's do Ice Flow. The next band was the song's called Go Home. Go Home? Go Home. Is the next band even here? Ice yes. Flow, Go Home. And the band after that is here. This song's really fun. <laughs> Go home, go home, go home, go home, go home, go 
home, go home, go home. It is actually really nice down here. This next one goes out to Black Flag. It's called Greg Ginn's Revenge. It's not my imagination. Just kidding. Just yes, kidding. it is. Fuck you, ABC. It was actually written about three years ago when we got sent to a play there because we have a song called... So, weren't you somebody I knew? Let's talk more rock. that's dedicated to our friend. We had maybe like <coughs> practice it two times. That's it, so if it fucks up, it fucks up. It's called I Hate Holidays. You wanna give it a shot, Igor, or is this in my lap? John's gonna sing it. Right. Yeah, I, you guys John's gotta do it. Sing it. Oh, sure, put everything in my lap. It's a big lap.
This, this, this one's a little too low. Okay, I'm um, talking, 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 talking. Oh yeah, talking, talking, talking. That's all I do. Yeah, yeah. I talk and talk and talk.
Under the influence. T-shirts for sale for 10 bucks, and we also have stickers for free. So just come up to me after, and uh, if you're interested, let me know. <laughs> so obscene for all you dirty, dirty people out there. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, not quite. Almost. Almost wrong. No. I got news for you. I want to. I want to smack you.
Two or three more. Okay.
Yeah, one or two. Oh, he's baiting, he's baiting. He's baiting, okay. Okay, you're up. Okay. See? Okay. Okay. This is our, what do you call a theme song? Yeah. This is our theme song. This song is about us. It's called Invading Species. Invading Species! <laughs> Thank you for letting us disturb your peace, this beautiful song. <laughs> and again, we have t-shirts for sale and we have stickers. Not for sale, but for free, which is better. So just come get some. Uh, okay. Get ready!
Check one, two. This is switch on. Hey. Oh, there we go. Yay! Hey. Check one, two. Hey. Hello. Hey. Check one. Seven, right, Chris? This yep. Is seven, number seven, lucky seven. We're the accelerators from the beautiful Garden State in New Jersey. <laughs> and the beautiful beaches and. Bacteria and Beach! What beach? Bacteria Beach! Bacteria Beach. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful beaches and mountains and casinos and murders. Yay! You're Chris, right? You're Ready, guys? I'm Alana from 6 to 8. We've been talking about... Right. One, two, yeah. three, four! <laughs>
Thank you. All right. Hold on one second. All right. No, I'm having some difficulty. Oh, oh, okay. fucking post, right? I try avoiding them and I can't. Well, it's his fault, so don't kill me. Um, how do snails fight? They slug it out. I'm trying to make it quick, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what does, when does a duck wake up? At the quack of dawn. At the quack of dawn. <laughs> <laughs> How does a squid go into battle? Well armed. Well armed. Ha ha. He's, he's ruining my shit. My. I don't know what's scary. My he jokes for the fact that you know them. <laughs> how much? Oh, maybe not. How oh, much does a pirate pay for corn? A buccaneer. A buccaneer. Ah, ha, ha, ha. They only get worse. I can't stump this guy. Can't make this shit up. Oh, okay. Here's a good one. <laughs> Did you hear about the flasher who was thinking of retiring? He decided to stick it out for one more year. Ha <laughs> 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 You had to be there. <laughs> you ready, Troy? <laughs> okay. You good? We'll find out again. Alright. Alright, this is called Psycho War. Yay! One, two, three, four. <laughs>
Demonized. An oldie but a goodie. This is an oldie. One of the first. My demon eyes. Yes, I'm still. Rock and Roll University. Yes, yeah. I, I have the diploma to prove it.
special concert for him sometime in August here. August 5th. August 5th and 6th. Okay. We may be playing that. I'm not sure. times I booked you guys. But anyway, I really enjoyed your speech, Chris. <laughs> you pretty much attacked everybody, which I like. Yay! <laughs> anyway, do you believe in aliens? We do. We elected one president! <laughs> I think they're all aliens in D.C. <laughs> Last one. Here we go.
accelerators from New Jersey. What's our next? Where's our next gig? Are you not My house Roxy and Dukes, Vanilla, New Jersey. <laughs> Dingbats, Clifton, New Jersey. Uh, then a park in South Orange, New Jersey, a much smaller park. It's about as big as from the stage to the no, maybe to the other folks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's some summer music for you. Perfect for today. It's called On the Beach. Ready, Anthony? One, two, three, four! <laughs> songs were written in the 80s and 90s, well before the shit hit the fan. <laughs> so uh, unfortunately these things happened and they still go on today. As Chris likes to say, we are punk rock prophets. So. <laughs> yeah, he just said that I like to say that. Right? We, we, ha we have a Hexcelerators hotline. Right? Psychic, psychic readings. <laughs> It's called Terrorism in the USA.
Friend Mikey Plague. Mikey Plague! Hey, Hurry up, Mike. I'm old, I gotta move Well, okay, it was the uh, 15th anniversary of Didi Ramon's death this week. But we had a song we wrote about him too, a long time ago. Yeah. Check, check. Mikey's gonna help us out with the song, and you know, yeah, this is and then he's gonna sing our song. This is home! What were you gonna say, Mike? Say Mike. this for all the all the old punk rockers like, like us. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so that Peter Ramon, one of the godfathers of punk rock. Ready? I wanna be like Peter Ramon. One, two, three, four. I wanna be like
that's it. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Mikey. Thank you very much. All right, thanks a lot. We got CDs for sale if you want any. Only five bucks. So, just ask us. Thank you.
Elgin's.
Yeah, the third time. Fucking guys can play! He was in rejuvenating. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And to the trees. Wow, yeah! Thank you, trees! Oh, you fucking trees. This is my drinking event. This next song is called Brew. Written by the showman over here. song is a rocky story, but it's called Goodbye Chimney, a real alien special.
Appreciate all the people being here today. We got our last song. Title oh, track on a new release. Which is soon to be out. It can't be a last song. To the too people. Soon. To you people. It's called the third kind. Side presents Puke Island Part 7 and once again I start off with a little bit of a history lesson for you for those who weren't here for the beginning of the show. Ten years ago there was an event called, well, called Punk Island. It was set up by an ex-squatter by the name of Slug. Slug, if you remember there was a, there was a newspaper called Street News of By and For the Homeless. One issue, Slug was on the front cover of Street News. They interviewed him about his experiences being a squatter. And he organized an all-day festival at, at Governor's Island 10 years ago called Punk Island. 
13 stages, over 100 bands, unfettered free expression, total fucking anarchy. I spent the whole day wandering around, getting lost, and hearing amazing fucking music. My band, Iconicide, played the first three punk islands, but in the fourth year, Slug decided it got a little bit too big for him to, to, to control by himself. So he figured, hey, there's ABC No Rio. They're underground, right? They know about all this do-it-yourself stuff, right? Let them organize it. But they did it what became the ABC No Rio way, which is committee everything to death. Now, if you play anything associated with ABC No Rio, you have to submit your lyrics in advance, all your links, your fucking bio, everything about your band, and if they object to one line, one word, one little passage in any of your songs, you're banned from playing. Sexual Suicide was supposed to play ABC No Rio, but they got one song. It was a joke song, basically, called Free Internet Pornography. Everyone likes free porn, right? Free yeah. But ABC No Rio caught wind of it. You're banned from playing. You're not politically correct enough. Well, let me tell you one thing. PC does not stand for politically correct. PC stands for pure crap. Because if you're so asinine, so infantile, that you need a committee of people to decide for you what's offensive, you may as well admit that you can't think for yourself. I mean, I'm not damning alleged punk island. You can go there, it's happening at Randall's Island or Ward's Island or some island. It's not Governor's Island anymore. It was on Staten Island one year. But it has nothing to do with the true spirit of punk. You know, it, I mean, if, if you if you got to have people say, you know, decide for you, well, this band is offensive. We don't want to give them airtime. This band is too controversial. We're not going to give them airtime. Yeah, then, then fuck that. I mean, fuck that shit. I mean, are, are you are you a child? I mean, are you are you a toddler where you have to have somebody screening the food that you're eating? No, I mean you're an adult. You can make your own fucking. Does you can think for yourself, right? So go there. See how things are when everything is safe. Everyone, and you know how they make sure that things are safe at Punk Island? They have monitors walking around from stage to stage, making sure that nobody says anything off script. That's your idea of counterculture? That's your idea of punk rock? Yeah, and there's police everywhere. I mean, no, 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 as far as, that, as far as that's concerned, you don't need the police. People say, fuck the police. If you're playing the part of police officers yourselves, you don't need the fucking cops. You've arrested yourself. You know, so pay attention to what you've seen and heard today. None of these bands was screened ideologically. I didn't sit down and say, oh, well, this band is left wing, so I'm going to put them with another left wing band. This band goes with the Latino, you know, Hispanic crowd. I'm going to book them with a bunch of bands like that. Oh, this band is more hardcore. So I'm going to book them with all hardcore bands. Like, oh, yeah, 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 like, you know, the third kind, they're a hardcore band. I'm just going to book hardcore bands. Yeah, let's play it safe. Let's stick to our own kind. You know what the last time that I heard people talk about sticking to their own kind? People getting fucking hung from trees and fucking burned. You know, got fucking crosses burned on their fucking lawn. So if you want to think like that and equate that with punk rock, live in your own fucking quarter. Bury yourself under that rock. I'm sure you have a lot of fun there. Me, I'd rather things not be safe. I'd not rather things not be PC. I'd rather risk being offended when I go to a show. Because if something offends me, it's going to force me to look at the way I think and say, you know, that guy's an asshole. Yes. But maybe that asshole is saying a little bit of truth. Maybe, 
95 or 96 or 97 or 98 or even 99 percent of what that asshole is saying is fucked up. But that one thing that he said was damn true. I'd rather take that risk. Because then, remember like, a, yeah, Bill Cosby is an asshole. But if you remember the Cosby kids, Fat Albert and the Cosby kids, hey, 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 hey it's Fat Albert. And remember, Bill Cosby always used to say at the beginning of the show, if you're not careful, if you're not careful, you might learn something before it's done. So hopefully, if anything, you've, I mean, I know that you've seen something that you don't really care for today. Maybe you've seen something that offends you. Maybe you've seen something that has made you look at yourself a little bit different and realize that there's something outside of this little safe zone you've built around yourself. But if you're not willing to step outside of that safe zone, you may as well fucking die in it. Yes! Because yeah. soon enough, yeah. people are going to get, gonna get yes. tired of pulling you from out, from underneath that rock, and showing you that there's a world outside of that window that does not play it safe. Fuck PC. Fuck yes. people keep, fuck these safe zones. No I, would ra I would rather think for myself. I would rather decide for myself what is the truth, what is fucked up, what is offensive. Leave that up to me. Do not keep me safe. Motherfucker, do not keep me safe. How can you keep somebody safe There's no somebody such thing as You know, I'd rather run into someone who does not think the way I do. Because then I might learn something. Maybe they'll learn something from me. That is the risk you run when you think for yourself and do shit for yourself. That, if anything, is what this show is about. Because alleged punk island, where you got people deciding for you, what is punk? If you know anything about punk rock, it's not about people telling you what to think, or how to act, or what to say or how to play. Punk rock came from people doing whatever the fuck came to mind. And a lot of those people didn't even know how to fucking play. Sex Pistols, Sid Vicious, six and a half feet tall, 125 pounds. They were just a boy band. The Sex Pistols, yeah, I mean, behind the scenes, yeah, Malcolm McLaren and all that, they were a publicity stunt. They were just to look good. Oh yeah, look at him. He's tall and skinny, he has spiked hair, and he's got one drooping eye from a knife fight. That was Sid Vicious. Put him on stage. Do you think he knew how to play? The mother of Nancy Spungen, Sid's girlfriend, wrote a book called And I Don't Want to Live This Life. It's kind of skewed in her favor, but it's the story of Nancy Spungen, and they invited Sid Vicious over for dinner. She say, looking at him, their cat could play bass better than could play him. But that was punk rock. It was not about being a pretty boy. You get fucking comedians and wrestlers and celebrity now, celebrities now, they're all fucking fashion models. You look at people who are alleged MCs, they're fucking fashion models. That guy with like the diamonds in his grill, that's not hip hop. That's being a fucking fashion plate. You look at the fucking videos, it's a car commercial. Hip hop punk came from the fucking underground, it came from the streets. And he had nothing to do with being polished or showing how fucking rich you are. Gold chains? Did you know that a lot of gold comes from Africa, from mines in Africa? And a study was done that showed that for every pound of gold, a black miner dies from digging out gold out of the fucking ground for every pound of gold. So if you have black MCs using thick, heavy gold chains as a status symbol, they're bragging how many of their brothers died in the mines digging up that gold. 
It has nothing to do with fucking street culture. And having people decide for you what is punk, what is politically correct, has nothing to do with allegedly punk island. So go there. Enjoy. Enjoy being safe. But remember what you saw and what you heard today. Because nothing today was booked because it was safe. Thank you, that's my time. Enjoy your day. Man, glad you showed up. Uh, Kai, right? Yeah. Damn straight, man. Thank you and good night.